Okay, now let's look at corkscrew. This is another right punch from the right side attack. So as the punch comes in, first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our right foot and we're going to step or point it. We're not really stepping as much as we're just turning it to the six o'clock position as we come in with a double parry. Now this isn't a smother block. You want to just parry the arm with the right hand grabbing the wrist and the left hand grabbing the elbow. And what you're doing is you're going to pull them in as you do a forearm strike on A. So the A version again, turn the foot, point to six, grab here, grab here, pull, and forearm strike the ribs. Now the B version and C version are if you need to gain distance. You're too far away for the actual strike. So as he comes in, as you can see, I'm no longer in position to strike the ribs. So what I'm going to do is as I come in and pull, I'm going to step forward into that strike. Okay, the B version. One, step forward, and strike. So the only difference between A and B is the step. C is identical to B, except we're going to change the strike. So as the punch comes in, one, we step, we're going to push the arm down, and come over the top and reach hand the throat. Okay, one more time. Let's go through them all once. So we got A. One, and strike, B, grab, step through with the rib strike, and C, one, step through, ridge hand. And that's how you would do corkscrew.